Hi, welcome and I hope you're doing well. This video here I'll be applying a new thermal paste on a MacBook Pro 15 inch and this is an early 2015 model. And the model for this is, let me turn it around and show it to you. The model here is A1398 and again this is an early 2015 model and this is a 15 inch. So what I'll be doing is I need to apply a new thermal paste on the computer. So what it does is I feel like the computer is running hot, meaning that the temperature on an idle is running above 40, well I think it's above like 55 Celsius. Um, and I can hear the fan is going on a high speed uh, most of the time even if I do something like simple opening like multiple tab on Google Chrome, running on Firefox, typing on Word document, Excel, spreadsheet, things like that, multiple windows, nothing really major, no video editing, no Photoshop. Uh, I can hear that the computer fan is going on medium speed, which you can, you know, really hear the, the, the fan is going, uh, running high. So. I figured it got to be the fan, the heat sink, the thermal paste is all dried up. So um, I just wanted to share this video with you and show you step by step on how to apply a new thermal paste. So here I have the MX4 thermal compound and this is a 2019 edition. Um, I will have the link in the description below but you can get it from Amazon or eBay. Um, this is just a regular thermal paste and I'll be removing the uh, the old one and apply with the new thermal paste on it. So what I did earlier was I just removed all the screws so you can see this is a pantalope screwdriver and I just remove all the screws and the back plate just come right out. So at this point here you can see that the CPU is here and the GPU is here. So some of the model on the MacBook Pro might not come with a graphics card so if you do not have a graphics card that's okay but for my case my laptop has a graphics card this is an AMD Radeon 5000 series I believe um, not 100% sure but this is the graphics card and this is the CPU now the first thing I need to do let's go from left to right so there's one screw right here which is the silver screw that holds onto the heat sink now when you come to this one, uh, this is like a tension bar. So this bar right here, it curves like this. Okay, the way it curves is when you put the two screws on, you put pressure and push down the heat sink. So this is like a tension bar that pushing down the heat sink for you once you put the two screws on. So as you remove the screw, you can feel like the tension bar is, is you know pushing things away. So once I remove the four screws, let, let's go ahead and remove four, four more screws and this is for the graphics card. The graphics card tension is not as strong as the CPU. Uh, as you can see the tension is not coming right out, it just stay as this with the heat sink. Now here on the far right, you see this little black thing. This is actually a rubber. You can remove the rubber by pulling it out. And the next step is to remove this silver screw. Now at this point, we have removed completely on all the screws. What you want to do is to remove the, the heat sink, this copper heat sink. But before you do that, there's this little plastic right here on the top left. It's blocking the heat sink to come out. What you want to do is you want to be gently and slowly lift all the cable up. So this bracket here is actually uh, guide the cable. So it just make like a cable management, make it pretty. Uh, but there's nothing really. So you use a two finger, hold on to this one, try to put pressure to your left and pull. So left and pull. And that's how you remove this plastic. This plastic is just a clip-on tool. There's not really much 
use of it uh, if it's not coming out that's okay and oh it came out so all right I'm just gonna leave it here on the corner so at this point here what I'll do is I'll try to lift up my heat sink all right so here comes my heat sink here you take a look at it so the thermal paste is all dried up and there's not much on the CPU and the GPU so what I'll do is I'll get the uh, thermal pad so you get one of this thermal pad and go ahead and start scrubbing so if you scrub it you just come right out okay so you, oops sorry I did not know that it was off the camera uh, so yeah it's very straightforward uh, what I was doing is I was just rubbing it on that copper and all that thermal paste would just come right out sorry I did not know that it wasn't on a camera okay so scrub it and everything come right out all this dry thermal paste let's push it on the side make sure you have a clean working table here okay so this is all, all done right so it's all clean and if your fan is dirty right if you see a lot of linens or dust hanging around the copper what you want to do is you want to get one of these Aiken duster so you just want to go ahead and you know kind of dust it out just like that okay so let's put the heat sink on the side I'll put it side here now we're gonna come back to this one here um, on your CPU and a GPU so I'll open up another new alcohol wipes so this alcohol wipes what I'll do is I'll just gently making a circle going around and around to just kind of remove all this thermal paste right so that's the goal is to remove the dry thermal paste if you want you can blow onto it as you're rubbing it so it dr dry quicker and there you have it so that's that's the CPU now I'm gonna work on the GPU do the same thing So you see all this dry thermal paste is sticking onto the pad, which is good. We need to have a clean CPU and a GPU. All right. So I think it looks good. So at this point, I would be applying the thermal paste here. So all you need just like a small grain of rice. Actually, I'm putting a very little, like a small grain of rice. What I'm doing is I'm just spreading it around evenly. I'm not putting it a lot. I know that when you look at the camera you might think oh this guy putting a lot on the thermal paste actually it's not I already just put a very tiny like a size half the size half a grain like half the size of a grain rice that's what I'm trying to say it's just like a baby booger there should be more than enough here what I'm doing is I'm just spreading it around um, all around that the CPU now I'm doing it on the GPU same thing I'm just putting it a very little bit spreading it around again you know the camera might be showing you a lot but actually it's very little it's very thin layer 
that I'm trying to spread it around. I'm just putting like I'm just dabbing it, dabbing it, make sure I have cover everything. It's up to you what you want to do. You want to put a lot, it's up to you. You want to put a little, it's up to you. Um, and again, you know, you don't have you you really do not need a lot here. Um, I think I have more than enough. So close it back on. I'm done with this. Clean my gloves. Make sure I have uh, a cleaning glove. So this is it. I think this is good enough for now. So let's go ahead and uh, and put this one back on. So. Okay, I just want to make sure is everything is is aligned properly. The first thing first, I put it on the top right corner here. This silver screws, and then I put a top left here, holding onto the heat sink. Make sure it's not running away. When I put the tension bar later on. Okay, so the next step I'll. Just gonna screw in the GPU first, the graphics card. So put it here. Next one. Again. And a final screw. Alright, so the next step I'll be putting is the tension bar. So I'll hold it right in the middle. First thing I'm just going to lock it on the right side of, not all the way, just halfway through it. Because the tension bar can move as you lock it in. So you want to be able to have some room and make adjustment on the left side of the bar, right? So, so far. I have it down correctly go ahead and screw all the way in come back and do it on the right side of the screw same thing try to put it right in the middle what I'll do is I screw the one on the right first halfway it's not all the way in just halfway so that this bar can still move around and then now I'm gonna come back here put it on the left side of the bar Push it around, make sure it's right in the center, and then screw it back in. So as you can see that this has a little, little tiny gap. So I'm just going to loosen it up just a little bit. And then now I'm going to push it. Now it's, it's right in the center. Lock it back on. Just like that. Okay. And do not forget the plastic here, this plastic here. You want to align on the right side of it first, right? Align and then press it down. So this bracket here is just to hold on to all your, uh, your Wi-Fi cable. Close this little rubber, which is for your fan. Tuck it underneath. The fan is spinning just fine double check I have the screw the cover goes in this thing is lock 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 and finally this little rubber go on top of the screw and the process is done all right oops this this rubber go on the top right here sorry I think I was off on a on a camera angle again but yeah just go right there close it and then put all the screws back on and that should be it so um, yeah if you if you feel like your computer is getting hot and if you feel like the computer fan is running on a high speed all the time that means it's time for cleaning so you can apply a new thermal paste on it or at the same time when you remove the heat sink you want to go ahead and dust off your heat sink I'm pretty sure that it has a lot of dust in it after being five years because the model of this is 2015 and yeah right now I'm recording this one is 2021 so it's about six years five six years old so I'm pretty sure it's a lot of dust and everything 
So if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up if you learned something and if this video is helpful, um, I would really appreciate if you smash the like button. It helps me to motivate and make more of this type of repair videos for you. And at the same time, um, I wish you success on your repair. If you have any question, just comment below. I'm more than happy to answer those questions and give you guidance for the next video. So thanks again. I wish you luck and all the best. Take care. Bye-bye.